So SeaTac is designed as super sticky and tacky underwater adhesive. Mm -hmm. It is intentionally designed as a slow set adhesive to cure over 36 hours. But as I squeeze out the SeaTac, you can see that it is a very thick and viscous uh, material, almost like a construction adhesive. Yeah. All right. But you can see how it is super sticky and tacky, yeah. even in an underwater situation where it's super sticky and tacky, even in an underwater situation. So, SeaTac is moisture activated and it is a slow set. So, I'm actually going to use the SeaTac, which is on my fingers, and I'm going to just pop that right into this coral plug. Now, use an amount relative to the application. Um, most likely you're going to want to use more than what you think you're going to need. Um, I'm going to take a wet coral frag here, of which I'm going to shake off the moisture and maybe even blot dry a little bit, but it doesn't have to be completely dry. Just not dripping wet. Just not dripping wet. And I will insert that into the coral plug. And that's all there is to it. So now I'm in a situation where I will put this in a low flow or no flow environment. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're in a situation, however, where you need to reposition this for whatever reason, let's just take it here and shake it. And... Oh. Yeah, what would you do? Well, in this situation, all I do is I reanimate the adhesive and I will reinsert the coral plug, maybe put a little bit of, of forming in that, and we're back into business. Okay. Is this something you would do, you could reanimate underwater, or do you recommend doing it above water? You can do either reanimate it underwater or you can reanimate it above water. So now that I have this on the coral plug, I'm going to take this and put this underwater in an optimal low flow or no flow environment. Okay. And it should stay there for about an hour or two. You have a working time where you can reanimate that adhesive in about 30 or 40 minutes. After that 30 or 40 minutes, you're really not going to want to play with this adhesive. So you want to leave this in a low flow to no flow environment for about an hour or two, after which time you can move it. You can turn your power heads back on. You can move it back. Just not a full blown out current. How do you know it's activating? Well, you know, um, if you can take a look at this previous uh, plug that we are have Oh yeah, glued, there's little bubbles on there. There's a little bubble forming and there's a little bubble forming over here. That's actually carbon dioxide. So the byproduct of the reaction is carbon dioxide gas. It is not amines or other toxic materials, toxic to mm -hmm. corals or fish. It is carbon dioxide. I see a little bubble already on this one that you just did. Mm -hmm. Looks like that activation's happening actually pretty, immediately. Pretty quickly. Like I said, within 30 or 40 minutes, you will find a skin over top of that adhesive. Uh, it will still be, it will have lost its tack, mm -hmm. uh, but it will still be spongy. Over the next three or four hours, it will continue to get firmer. Mm -hmm. After uh, about four hours, you um, it will withstand a tide change. Oh, wow.